goodbye from Orlando. We're back at the Playboy Hotel and Casino in Atlantic City, New Jersey for the WBC World Super Bantamweight Championship. The champion, Wilfredo Gomez, Puerto Rico, defending against Juan Kid Mesa of Los Angeles, California. The fighters are about to be introduced now by the ring announcer with Juan Mesa, a record of 37-5-0. And, oh, and the kid has 31 knockouts, ranked number two by the World Boxing Council. He is 26 years of age, stands five seven and a half. He weighed in at 120 and three quarters. His reach is 69 and a half. The young man who is defending the title today has been an awesome performer. He has 34 victories and 34 knockouts and 32 of those knockouts came in succession. He is defending for the 14th time at age 25, Wilfredo Gomez. And he weighed in at 121 and a quarter pounds this morning. He stands five, five and a half. He gives away about three inches in reach. He lives now in San Juan, Puerto Rico. The trainer is Federico Plummer. The manager for the champion is listed as himself. In other words, Wilfredo handles his own business. He has legal help to do it. The cornermen today will be Plummer, Hausto Torres, Manny Sanchez, and uh, Alberto Caguas. For the challenger, Mesa, Jimmy Montoya is the manager and trainer. He'll be assisted today by Pancho Lopez, Johnny Cabrera, and Beto Martinez. The referee is Harold Vallon. He has called the fighters to the center of the ring for the instructions, and he will not have a ballot. Under New Jersey Athletic Commission and WBC rules, the judges are... Harold Letterman, Larry Hazard, and Carol Castellano. And there is your tale of the tape, defining the particulars physically for the two. You'll notice the champion is a year younger. He gives away about two inches in height. He gives away about three inches in reach. And we go now with round number one, the WBC Super Bantamweight Championship. The champion is in red. The challenger is in the gold. Kid Mesa with 31 knockouts. Among his 37 victories, he has lost five times. Scheduled for 15. Ten-point must scoring. Three knockdown rule is waived. Mandatory eight count. And no saving by the bell. Quick left hand of Gomez flicking the head of the challenger back. Gomez has had two fights since losing to Sanchez when he tried to move up into the featherweight ranks. But this is by far his most serious challenge. 122 pound weight limit. Interesting to note that Gomez is part of a program that may, in effect, signal a breakthrough in the training regimen for professional boxing. Doing a lot of things differently with this young man. And he had no trouble making the weight this morning. We have in recent weeks been looking for... Uh, how shall I put it? A Mitty-esque performance, perhaps, by some of the challengers, but instead we're getting Bunyan-esque performances by champions. We haven't had very many contests, if you will. There are some who feel this one could be a contest. Gomez was scarred considerably by his failure against Sanchez. Salvador is here today watching seemingly bewildered at one time perhaps in the days immediately following his first loss but when you move up in weight particularly among the lighter weights three four pounds makes an awful lot of difference nothing there Mesa is willing he is not intimidated he goes hard to the body he comes with a left hook to the side of Gomez's head it's the left hand of the champion's head again. Gomez in red and Mesa in the gold as we hit 20 seconds to go in round one.
round two. WBC Super Bantamweight Championship with Gomez in the red defending against Mesa in the goal. Champion on your right, Challenger on the left. The challenge of Mesa, more pressure and more punches in the first round. Kid Mesa has never been knocked out. And he takes a wicked combination. First the lead right and then a very stiff left hand by Gomez. And he sacked back in the ropes and blinked. Gomez really tagged him. But Mesa is still going at his target. Gomez and again Mesa blinks it's just a little high on the side of the head another right hand by Gomez he's able to bring the right hand over the left of Mesa he has done it now with authority twice in this round champion's face, not much on it. Mesa trying to force the fight. Gomez left hook, second one got there. Picked off by Mesa. <laughs> Round two is over. Once you put motor. <laughs> Round three. WBC Super Bantamweight Championship. Wilfredo Gomez landed two big right hands in the second round. Both on target. Oh, one Mesa. Mesa took the punches, but he blinked both times, and one time sagged back into the ropes off the combination. The right lead and then the left foot. Another hard right. So Gomez is really finding him with the right hand lead, and he's got something on it. Dominating and controlling the second round of the fight after the challenger had forced the pace in the first round. Gomez with a good hook into the body. As Mesa moved in on him. Pace here in round three. All right, hold it, hold it. Stop one time. Mesa wild and pays for it. <laughs> stations along the way at the end of this round we will take a station break into the 
face of the champion. The most effective punches of the fight so far have been the right hand leads by which Roberto Gomez. Less than a half minute to go now in round three. Left hand goes first to the face and then to the body by Gomez. Very economical, very efficient. Very good left hand by Gomez. We'll be back with more of this WBC World Super Bantamweight Championship after this word from our local station. Your local buck and New Wave Theater. The Fort Lauderdale News called Night Flight a thinking man's rock program, but don't think too hard. Tune in to Night Flight, late night, all night, every Friday and Saturday night. Now in session, 30 on channel 42. Gomez comes out, the champion digging hard to the body with the left hook. The first blow of the fourth round. Now Wilfredo appears to be loading up the left. He has defended this being his 14th defense of his title. He has defended 13 times successfully all by knockout, breaking a record of 10 formerly held by Roberto Duran. Gomez getting a little wild right there himself. He's given away two inches in height and three inches up in the Right hand was high on the side of the head by Mazur. Left hand flush in the face of Mazur by Gomez. I'll say this, Mazur is not intimidating. He's going after his man. But he's getting his ticket punch on his way in. There's a blink. Alfredo <laughs> with an 83 and 3 amateur record. Was the Vanderbilt champion of his country really before he turned professional. And he is indeed revered in Puerto Rico. on the ropes, but Mesa fights off the ropes. The right hand just missed. Gomez pulled away. Right hand is picked off there. Working on the body of Mesa, and he's, he's causing him some discomfort with the body attack here in the fourth round. the fourth round. Because we last. We go now into round five. Wilfredo Gomez defending his WBC Super Bantamweight Championship. A wicked body attack in the fourth round. And at the close of the round, it seemed obvious that Kip Mesa was starting to flinch a little bit. red spots in the abdomen area. Mesa was born in Mexicali, lives now in Hawthorne, California, which is one of the communities in the Los Angeles megalopolis. Short right hand by Mesa, 
finds the target. Gomez very seldom loses visual contact with his opponent. Keeps that head. Aimed right at his man. Good left hand by Meza. Again, Gomez goes back to the body. A wicked hook to the midsection. Comes across with the right. Both landed. Harold Ballon, the referee. Left hook. Wobbles in just a bit. Gomez came over the top with it. Gomez has been right on the belt line in this round with the body attack. He's back in there again. Hard right hand by the champion. Another right hand by the champion. Back to the midsection with the left hook. He's chopping him up right now. Right hand by Mesa. Left hand by Mesa. Gomez just keeps coming. Inside a minute to go in round five. One of seven sons born to Consuelo Mesa. 1956. He's a gamer. But the champion is doing an attack dance on him right now. A hard right hand by Gomez. A wicked left hook by Gomez. Mesa hangs in and tries to fight back. He goes back to the body. Gomez comes with a right to the body and a left to the head. That one was almost low. Right on the belt line. Mesa trying to find a, a moment here, I think, to complain to Harold Allen, the referee, that some of the blows are low as we hit 10 seconds to go in round five. Hard right, he almost went down. Another right hand. His knees buckled, and the round is over. Lincoln Mercury. Round six. Juan Kid Mesa almost dropped at the close of round five from the wicked body attack by Gomez and two big right hands to the jaw. Let's see how fresh he is as Gomez tacks him with the right hand as he tried to move in. Mesa has not been particularly effective offensively. He has absorbed a considerable punishment from the champion. Particularly in rounds three, four, and five, the body attack seemed to wear him down as a hard left hook by Gomez. Mesa fights back, big heart. tomorrow, boxing again with the USA national team against a team from Scandinavia, Denmark and Sweden. Good, tough competition. Hard left hook by Gomez. That'll be at 3.15 Eastern, 2.15 Central and Pacific tomorrow. USA versus the world in Olympic sports. USA versus Scandinavia and super heavyweight Tyrone Biggs is undefeated in 1982 and rolling along will be featured. It's Azienza. You see Cedric Rose. You see young men that you have not seen before who will make up, I am sure, some of the Olympians for 1984. Right now, Wilfredo Gomez, who lost in the Olympics in Munich, he is whittling away on his 14th challenger for the WBC Super Phantomweight Championship, Juan Kit Mesa from Hawthorne, California. Digging to the body. Combinations to the head. Gomez dominating the fight. That is a vicious body attack that he is putting on Mesa. Unrelenting. Hard right hand. Mesa's knees wobble a bit. Gomez senses he has his man in trouble. A left hook to the head. Back into the corner. The referee, Fallon, steps in and stops the fight. Two, 28. A 
of the sixth round. The referee stops the contest. People trying to pile into the ring and some of them coming right over the top of us. TKO 228. And Wilfredo Gomez has stopped Kit Mesa. The first time in his career that Kit Mesa has been stopped. The 14th time that Wilfredo Gomez has defended his Super Bantamweight Championship by stopping the challenger. We'll take a look at the closing flurry. It was an unrelenting minute and a half of punishment. And finally, the referee, Harold Vallon, accepting the fact that Mesa had reached the point where he could no longer defend himself, stepped in and stopped the fight. And it was a good decision because Mesa had been rocked severely by blows such as that. The right hand over the top, the left hook, the body attack. And right here, Harold Valen stepped in and said, that's enough. And here's the announcement of the decision. Harold Valen stops this bout at two minutes and 28 seconds of the sixth round. And a winner and still World Boxing Council Super Bantamweight Champion, Wilfredo Bozuka Gomez. So it is happiness in Puerto Rico as their man, Wilfredo Gomez. We will be talking with Larry Holmes, who is scheduled to defend his WBC championship on June. And we'll have a round or so of an exhibition that Holmes participated in today against Jumbo Cummings. And we will have highlights of that marvelous fight between Sugar Ray Leonard and Tommy Hearn. Okay, we'll be back with more right after this word from our local stations and the station break. When I'm not making music... Monday on the 54th Annual Academy Awards. Bill McCurley Chevrolet sells cars for less. Channel 42, KVEW, Kennewick. your champion at ringside, Wilfredo Gomez, and his interpreter, Dr. Dwight Santiago. Doctor, would you ask Wilfredo if he was satisfied with his performance? I'm very happy to defend for 14 times, 14 times, the Faja of the Super Gallo. I'm very happy. I want to wish this fight to many who doubted me in Puerto Rico, who thought that I was going to be finished as a boxer. Quiero dedicarle esta pelea a ellos y muy especial a todo el pueblo de Puerto Rico y a mi hija y a mi madre Paula. He's very very satisfied to have defended his title for the 14th consecutive time by knockout, and he wants to appreciate all the people that have backed him up, and I, he feels that this way he's showing all those people who have not believed in him and who have doubted on him that he is the champion, the caliber champion he is, and he dedicates this to his family and to the entire island of Puerto Rico. What is next for him? Qué te espera ahora. Ahora espero hacer una defensa más con el promotor Don King, que es mi promotor, hacer eh, por, eh, la decimoquinta defensa aquí en el Hotel eh, Playboy eh, el 15 de abril, en, aquí en el, en, el, en el Playboy. His future plans are to continue with Don King for his 15th defense of his title here in Atlantic City in approximately four to six weeks. A name? Do you have a man? Quién? Eh, con Juan Antonio López. Esta pelea es obligatoria ya que el Consejo Mundial así la ha determinado. Against Juan Antonio López, he's uh, the contender that has been selected by the World Boxing Council. Que, y que me gustaría una revancha con el campeón pluma Salvador Sánchez, una nueva revancha. Yo sé que Don King está en vía de conseguírmela a fines de este año. He is definitely very interested in his rematch with Salvador Sánchez who he knows is here present with Don King today right. and hopes that by the end of this year the rematch can come across. Doctor, thank you very much. Congratulations, Wilfredo. Wonderful okay, effort. Papa. As we told you, among those at ringside today, the WBC heavyweight champion, Larry Holmes. He participated in six rounds of exhibition, four of them against Big Jumbo Cummings and two of them against a youngster named Mitchell Green out of New York City. 
So now let's, uh, for just a moment, show you one round of uh, what the heavyweight champion is doing to keep himself active. We put commentary on it as it took place. Here that is. The third of four scheduled... Uh